آپ میں ملک ہوں ہماری انجمن کے قبلہ مولانا سید ابراہ نقوی صاحب جو کسی تعارف کے محتاج نہیں ہم پر فروز ہوں اور انگلش میں اپنا نظرانہ یہ عقید پیش کریں ان کی آمد پر بلان ترک سلاوات اللہ وسلام حسین منی Today is the third of Muharram and quickly these days of Ashura, these days of Muharram are passing and as I have said in my first lecture that our purpose in life is to understand who Allah Azzawajal is. We need to understand what our purpose in life is. We need to understand the teachings of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad as we see that this life that we have in every single society, we find that people are living their lives according to the rules and regulations set by the culture they are living in. But we, the followers of Muhammad and Ali, Muhammad wasalam, we have a law which has been set by Allah. We have a culture which was molded in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. We are believers of those imams who taught every single believer how to live their life to such an extent that we find sayings from Ali Muhammad that if you do this amal, if you do this amal, then this will benefit you in the grave in so and so maqamat. So our lives are set by Ali Muhammad. Choice by Allah Azzawajal. Whether we choose to believe and to follow the law which Allah Azzawajal has sent or oh, are we just Muslims? Are we just followers of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad Islam by our child? This Muharram, this year 1442, 
this Muharram has given us the opportunity to sit down and to ponder over how we are living our lives. Yeah. Three months ago, before COVID-19, every single person in the world, their lives were different. People would get up in the morning, would get ready, go to work. Children would get up, get ready and go to school. Mothers would get up, get their children ready, do their household chores. People had a different life. But look how COVID-19 in just a few hours changed all of the world. Our lives are different. Our society is different. Our culture is different. Our weddings are different. Our schools are different. Our workplaces are different. <laughs> Our houses are different. Every single thing we see around us has changed just by COVID-19. This has given us an opportunity to rethink our lives. Bishak. What has it given us the opportunity to think about? I'm saying that our believer is that person who is constantly prepared for death. Death is such reality. No matter how hard we try to move away from death, no matter how hard we try not to mention death, death is such reality that one day death will come and death will take us away. Many people have lost family and friends due to COVID-19. It has given us time to understand the reality of our lives. Okay. This life okay. that we have, it is a temporary life. We will leave this dunya. Every single thing that we cherish, it will be left behind. But the Holy Prophet of Islam Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam can we have a loud salvat please? Allahumma salli ala Muhammad ala Muhammad When the Prophet of Islam says that when a person leaves this dunya he leaves all connections behind every single connection that he has with this dunya it is closed the connection with your parents it is closed. The connection with your brothers and sisters, it is closed. The connection with your friends, it is closed. But there is only one connection that remains open. When you are in your grave, there is one door, there is one connection that remains open from this dunya to your grave. And that connection, my brothers and sisters, that connection is the connection of dua. Allahu Akbar. Every single thing else is closed, but only the connection of dua remains open. That's why Ali Muhammad Islam teaches. As I mentioned yesterday, the Holy Prophet said, Teach your children two things. One is the knowledge of the Quran, the other is the knowledge of the love for Muhammad and Ali Muhammad. But then again, Ali Muhammad teaches. That when every single connection is closed, the connection of dua remains open. We need to teach our children, teach our youngsters, teach our youth that there is only one dua that you can use that will penetrate this dunya and will arrive in your grave in the form of the nur of the vilayat of Ali ibn Abi Talib. And that noor can only be obtained by the zikr of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad and Islam. MashaAllah Kibla, MashaAllah Jazakallah. That noor can be only obtained by the zikr of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad. Throughout the world, you see, Majalis has changed, Azadari has changed. 
But remember this, no matter how our surroundings change, no matter if today we are not sitting in the Imam Bargah, you are sitting in your home, you are listening to the zikr of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad. No shak. You are getting the same reward. You are getting the same sabab as if you are sitting in the house of Allah. MashaAllah, Kibla, MashaAllah. No matter where you are, no matter in which condition you are, the house in which the zikr of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad take place. Allah sent his angels for 40 days and for 40 nights. Look, before we would always sit in the Imam Bargah, we would sit in the Masajid and listen to the zikr of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad. Look at the barakat of this platform. Look at how Allah Azawajal has rewarded you that this platform of Anjuman, Gulaman, Aulad, Zahra, Salamullah alayha has given you all the ability that today every single person is sitting in his house. Every single person's house is the Imam Barga of Imam Hussein. MashaAllah Kibla, MashaAllah. Every single house is a place of remembrance. Of the zikr of who? Of the zikr of Imam Hussein al Islam. We need to understand who Ali Muhammad al Islam are. Allah Azawajal says in the Quran, in Surah Ali Imran, verse number 33, Allah Azawajal says, In Nal Hastafa Adama wa Nuhan wa ala Ibrahim wa ala Imrana, Allah says in the Quran that I have chosen Hazrat Adam and I have also chosen Hazrat Nu and I have chosen the family of Hazrat Ibrahim. And then Allah continues and says that I have chosen the family, the all the family of Imran. Masha'ala. We need to understand this verse. What does Allah mean by saying that I have chosen Adam, I have chosen Hazrat Anu, Noah, I have chosen the family of Ibrahim, and I have chosen the family of Imran. Who are these chosen no. people? No. No. Masha Allah, encourage the youth to speak in Majalis. Masha it is very important. The maqsad of this platform, the maqsad of Anjuman Ghulaman Ulad Zahra, Salamullah Aleha, is that our youth participate in the zikr and the Majalis of Aba Abdullah Al Hussein. Masha Allah, Kibla, that I have chosen these people. Every single place in this moment in time, throughout the world, from America to UK, from the UK to Pakistan, back to Australia and America, every single person in the world is doing the zikr of Imam Hussein al Islam. What is it that we receive from Karbala? What is it that we get from Karbala? People ask us this question. Why is it that you see the moon of Muharram and you start remembering Aba Abdullah al Hussein? You start remembering the companions of Imam Hussein? Let me give them a simple answer. That those people that still don't understand what Karbala is, those people that still don't understand the sacrifice of Imam Hussein al-Islam. It is from Karbala that we receive the full religion which is protected by Allah Azawajal through Aba Abdullah al-Hussein al-Islam. If today every single person is kneeling down in sajda, 
if people are reading namaz if people are reciting salah if people are reciting kalma if people are giving zakat if people are doing hajj if people are doing umrah if people are going to the mosque if people are wearing hats and if people are hugging each other on the day of eid all this is due to the sacrifice of imam husain mashallah mashallah kabir mashallah subhanallah it is all mashallah it is all due to the sacrifice of imam husain so don't forget what imam husain al islam was salam has done for us going back to the verse which i recited in front of you from ali imran allah says i have chosen hazrat adam i have chosen hazrat nuh i have chosen the family of ibrahim and i have chosen the family of imran now we need to understand mashallah mashallah Hazrat Nuh alayhi salatu was salam was the prophet of Allah azza wa jal. Hazrat Adam was also a prophet of Allah azza wa jal. Hazrat Ibrahim was a prophet of Allah azza wa jal. Who is the all of Hazrat Imran? That is what I would like to mention and insha Allah I would continue this lecture from tomorrow. We see in history that there are three types of Imran that we find. The first Imran that we find in history, he was the father of Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu was salam, and his name was Imran. And we see that Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu was salam's lineage did not continue. So this Al of Imran is not referred to Hazrat Musa. Because Allah is saying that I have chosen the family whose lineage has continued, and then the other Imran that we find, he was the father of Hazrat Maryam, and he was the grandfather of Hazrat Isa, who was also Hazrat Imran. But every single person knows that Hazrat Isa did not get married. So this line is this all of Hazrat Imran also ended with Hazrat Isa. So wow, wow. Hazrat Musa, father, his family did not continue. The father of Hazrat Maryam, his family did also not continue. Who is this third Imran that Allah is referring to in Al Imran? And Allah has said that I have chosen them. That is no other. And the father of Ali ibn Abi Talib, Hazrat Imran. Wow, wow, wow! Subhanallah. In in the Arab society, we would see and we find still today that every single person is referred to. by the name of that child for example if i have a daughter by the name of zahra then i am known as abu zahra hazrat imran had a son by the name of talib that's why hazrat imran was known as abu talib hazrat amir al mu'min ibn abi talib was known as abul hasnain because of imam hasan al islatu wasalam but the real name of the father of ali ibn abi talib was imran look at the fazilat that allah has given the father of ali ibn abi talib allah says in the quran o believers o muslims o those that believe in the word of the quran i have chosen Ali Imran and I have given them fazilat. Then who is the mullah to say that Hazrat Abu Talib, who has been chosen by Allah, who are we and you to say that Hazrat Abu Talib, who was chosen by Allah Azza wa Jal, whose name is mentioned in the Quran, how dare you call Masha him Imran? Subhanallah. 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 Allah. 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 Allah.
Hazrat Abu Talib, how dare you call him a non believer? When Allah is saying in the Quran, I have chosen his family, I have chosen him. People till today are still not understanding who Ali Muhammad are. The moon of Muharram is seen throughout the world, you see. The community, the followers of Ali Muhammad wasalam, they only want to remember about Abdullah al Hussein. Wow. And we find that many propagandists start on social media and people start talking against those that believe in Ali Muhammad. Any person who starts wearing black clothes, he is known as a Shia. And I always say this. It is very difficult. It is very hard to believe in Imam Ali al Islam. It is very difficult to be a believer of Ali Muhammad. The only thing that we can do is we can try to follow the teachings of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad al Islam. And on these words, I would like to leave that we spend, or we are going to spend this month of Muharram by remembering about Abdullah al-Hussein, by doing the sikr of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad al-Islam. <laughs> Every person, no matter where you are in the world, these next 10 days are days of sadness. Listen. These next 10 days are days in which we are going to cry for Abba Abdullah. <laughs> I would like to speak to the youth and to the children. And I mentioned this on the first of Muharram, that when someone asked me, Maulana, why is it that we cry for Abba Abdullah al Hussein? Why is it that we should remember Imam Hussein al I said to that child, oh son, that we cry for Abba Abdullah al Hussein, not because just Abba Abdullah al Hussein was killed in Karbala, but we cry for the musibah that fell upon the family of Abba Abdullah. <laughs> <laughs> But part of the reason why we still cry for Imam Hussein is due to the tragedies that fell upon the household of Abba Abdullah al Hussein. And oh. Adar, oh, Mamani, those that have come to cry for Abba Abdullah oh. Imam when Imam Sajjad returned to Medina, one person came to Imam Sajjad and said, Oh, Imam oh. Sajjad, many days, many months have passed since the tragedy of Karbala. As Adarat, I'm giving this answer to those people that say that 1400 years have passed. Why is it that you still cry for <laughs> Allah after Hussein? <laughs> Someone asked the same question to Imam Sajjad. They came uh -huh. to Imam Sajjad and they said, Oh, Mawla, Imam Sajjad, many months have passed since your father, Imam Hussein, was slain in Karbala. Uh -huh. Many years have passed since your brother Ali Akbar was killed in Karbala. Many months uh -huh. have passed since your brother Ali Asghar was killed in Karbala. Uh -huh. Oh, Imam Sajjad, why is it that you Still cry for your father, Abba Abdullah. And look at the reply that Imam Sajjad gave. Imam Sajjad began to cry and said, Oh person, you have not done in Saab. Hazrat Yusuf alayhi salatu wa salam had 18 sons, but one of his sons went missing. Hazrat Yusuf knew that he was alive. His father also knew Hazrat Yaqub that his son was alive, but after the young cried so much for his son Yusuf, 
that Hazrat Yaqub lost yeah. his eyesight and his eyes became white. Hazrat Imam Sadat begins to cry and say, Oh, person, Hazrat Yaqub lost one son, but I am the tenth of Muharram. I lost my father, Abba Abdullah. I lost my brother, Ali Akbar. <laughs> Yes, God. I lost Qasam. I lost Aun and Muhammad. All my family was killed in Karbala. <laughs> Allah, what a hero!